Good morning, Siegel. Uh, I'm here today to brag on my bowling team. Uh, I want to thank Mr. Creasy for letting me come on. First, I'd like to say here, uh, I have Hunter Whitaker. He's right here. Hunter. <laughs> yes, you're, uh, not yesterday, Tuesday he bowled a 300. For those of you who don't know what a 300 Woo! is, it's a perfect game. Uh, let's see, we got, I also have one of the best uh, freshman uh, boys bowlers on my team, Noah White. He didn't show up this morning, so he'll get yelled out later. Uh, I have uh, my girls, parts of my girls team here as well. I like to brag on them. I have the third, fourth, and fifth best bowlers in the state. Here is two of them. We got Sydney. Woo! And then we have uh, Maddie. Woo! And uh, I also have Tori over here who did her season's best yesterday for 140. Good job. Awesome. And then I have uh, Stephanie here and she just hangs out with me. She does well too. Uh, then we have... Um, I would like to invite every single person to come to our game on, uh, let's see, November the 23rd at 4 o'clock against Harding County. They have the uh, number one girls team in the state and the number three boys team in the state. And so we really would like for a whole bunch of you guys to come out. Thanks. At Smyrna. At Smyrna. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right, congratulations, Mr. Proctor. Good uh, job by uh, Mr. Parker making a coaching change from Coach Fields. Nah, I'm just kidding. Good job. Got a great group of girls and boys there. It's, uh, with the bowling team. Uh, they do deserve a lot of credit. They work just as hard as anybody else here at school. Um, also, uh, talking about working hard, we got a couple things this weekend. Cross country team obviously is going for um, their run at a state title, um, state placement there at Steeplechase tomorrow. Uh, 10 a.m. I think is the girls, 10.45 is the boys, um, Percy Warner Steeplechase Park. Uh, if you need directions, um, contact um, Coach Young. So congratulations to Coach Young, all the boys and girls. Good luck to them this weekend. Eat lots of pasta tonight, carve up, uh, run hard tomorrow. Um, also, we got the football team traveling today with the cheerleaders, uh, the band. Got a big group going to Knoxville Bearden for the first round of the playoffs. Uh, hopefully safe travels, good trip, uh, come back with a victory uh, tonight, but good luck to them. Big pep rally today, uh, everybody talking about when we have the next pep rally, pep rally is today. Uh, get pumped up, loud and proud, let's uh, support those, uh, the bowlers, also the cross country team, the football team, everybody, um, got to pep them up, right, pep rally. So anyways, um, good luck to everybody, again, uh, concentrate on doing the right thing here in the building, doing what's right for the teachers, doing what's right for your classmates, uh, integrity, honesty, respect, all those good things, character counts, guys, I promise you that's going to be uh, more important because uh, everything else, like I always say, do those things right, your grades, uh, your classroom, uh, all those things will work out in the long run for you. So anyways, everybody have a nice weekend, let's have a great day here at Siegel. Thank you, Mr. Andres. The Seagull Store is now offering coffee, hot chocolate, and a variety of hot teas. A regular cup is only 100 pennies. <coughs> coffee is also available for sale in Mrs. Brown's room before school. Seniors, there will be a fin financial aid meeting for seniors and their parents on Monday, November 9th at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. We will cover the FAFSA and scholarships. Current sophomores and juniors interested in dual enrollment classes for next year should attend an MTSU dual enrollment meeting on Thursday, De December 1st at 6 o'clock p.m. in the library. Parents are invited to attend. Students must have a 3.0 GPA and a 22 ACT to participate. Information about the ACT testing requirement will be shared at the meeting. All governor school applications are due to the counselors no later than November 20th. Now to you, Mertis. Thanks, Tanner. Thanks, David. Jocelyn's will return on Monday, November 9th during all three lunches taken out since orders. They will also deliver class rings to those juniors or seniors who ordered this year during all three lunches. Should you have any questions concerning graduation, please see Ms. Teasley, room 716. Excalibur, meet, please meet in the lobby at 1125 today for Siegel Scenic Sweepers. All DECA students that are attending the Titans Learning Lab on Tuesday, November 10th need to meet in Ms. Anderson's room 724 by 730 a.m. The bus will be leaving at 7.45. Symposium Magazine is gearing up for its next publication. We know that there is so much talent here at Seagull and our magazine is filled with student art, short stories, poetry, etc. The theme this year is the change one wants to see in the world. What change do you want to see? Submissions are due November 30th. Come see Miss Hall in room 119 for more details. And that's all for your announcement, Seagull. Have a 
Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Baylor, Baylor Friday. Friday.